Казаргы сабақты бастамас бұрын, сетиметегі слайдты ашып алыңыз. Now, guys, uh, to, from today, from now, we will have a look at uh, writing, IELTS writing, okay? So, um, in IELTS writing task, uh, there are common uh, two types of tasks, like writing task one and writing task two, okay? Like the general information. In writing task one, uh, overall, you have one hour, both for task one and task two, mm -hmm. and uh, overall one hour, but you cannot think like 50 to 50, so 30 minutes to writing task two, 30 minutes to writing task one. Why you cannot do that? There are a couple of reasons. First, uh, okay, there are some problems with my laptop, I'm sorry for that. First, uh, the task one, it, it, task one is, uh, describing some diagram, plan, map, um, like the illustration. You should describe the illustration. And uh, you have only to write 150 words. Okay. Uh, that is 150 words. In writing task two, you should write an essay. Like use your own imagination. It means you don't just look at the illustration provided, no. If there is a question, you should answer the prompt to admit to the question. And you have overall 60 minutes for both of the tasks, for these two tasks. So, what should you do? Uh, here, uh, what I am telling, advising you is task two is, uh, for task two, this, yeah, okay. Your overall score will mostly depend on task two, on how you, write, how you are going to write task two. For example, if you scored six points from task one, but 7.5 from task two, it means your answer, your overall score will be seven, not uh, 6.5, okay? But if even if you're writing task one is nine, writing task two is six, your overall six, uh, overall band for writing will be going 6.5 because your writing task two is only six. It means writing task two has more impact on your overall score of the writing exam, uh, writing section. So um, just be uh, know that, and that is why you should like uh, de de divide your time properly: 40 minutes to writing task two and 20 minutes to writing task one. Also, don't repeat my mistake uh, in my, when I was taking IELTS, by the way, my overall writing is only six. So let me explain why. When I was taking IELTS writing, uh, I just want, started from writing task one and I want to do it perfectly and I spent 30 minutes or like 28 or 29 minutes only writing task one. And when I look at the time, oh my God, only 30 minutes are for task two. Actually, that was not right, because uh, task two is, as I have told before, task two is weight more. It, uh, uh, task two uh, means more, because you are using your own imagination there. <sighs> and uh, when we will look, uh, we will, you, when you have a clear understanding of every single task, you will understand why writing task two is more important. But don't repeat my mistakes. That's why I recommend you to start from task two. Start writing task two first, uh, overall in one hour. And after, uh, when, like, after 30 minutes, finish writing task two and go to task one, okay? In order not to repeat my mistake. Hmm. Uh, now, let's have a look at the, uh, at the slide. I know I, I talk a lot. <laughs> so. Candidate writing evaluation scheme, scheme, or scheme. I do not check the spelling place, okay? So here, uh, task one, scripts are assessed on the following criteria. First, task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. Hmm? Where, whatever, task two, 
scripts are assessed on the following criteria: task response, coherence and cohesion, lexical research, grammatical range, and accuracy. Here, look. Actually, there is a difference between task response and task achievement. We'll have a uh, look at them. But remember that candidates should know that scripts will be penalized if they are under the minimum word length. Like for example, you should write 250 words for task 2. If you write even 245 words, it means you are doing wrong, okay? So, if, um, partly or wholly plagiarized. Yeah, sometimes uh, it happens. It happens that the candidate just learns some essays by heart and uh, tries to, uh, and he was or she was very really lucky. She has the same question and just write this down. But IELTS is very serious examination and it is going to use some anti plagiarism software. Okay, be careful. Not written as full connected text. Yeah, academic text, guys, be aware of how to write academic text, how to write them. There is no any like bullet points in academic writing or um, there is no any note for like shortcuts as I have told before, just academic writing, academic writing, academic essay, okay? So in task one, uh, let's have a look at each of these criteria and look what is task achievement. Task uh, achievement, uh, this criteria assesses how appropriately and accurately and relevantly the response fulfills the requirements. It means like uh, when there is an illustration, you should not write, uh, describe any single detail on that illustration. Just find out the main important ones. Actually, this is how they check your uh, knowledge, check your English, check your, uh, like, can you really find information in English language? And can you deliver that information to the, exam to the reader? Mm -hmm. That is actually checked on task achievement. Task also, task one is also writing task with a larger predictable output in that each task sets out the context and the purpose of the letter and functions that can should cover in order to achieve this purpose. Don't worry, we'll have a look at each structure and you will have no, I hope you will have no any problem with it. So what is coherence and cohesion? Uh, coherence is, and cohesion is uh, how smoothly your writing is. Like you don't write, you don't, for example, uh, start with a conclusion and after like some examples, after the argument, no. introduction, argument, example, and conclusion, right? So do you follow the right structure? And do you use some words that, that are linking your ideas? Like, do you remember run on sentences, run on sentence on SAT? It's like that. Are your sentences run on? So are there any, is there any connection in your text, in your academic writing? Okay. Be aware of that. Next, uh, lexical research. I think you know, it's your uh, vocabulary, vocabulary. How effectively can you use some synonyms? Uh, how effectively do you paraphrase your words? Or how effectively you use antonyms, right? And uh, anything. But so there is a chance to show your, to show off, yeah, to show your speaking. Uh, I'm sorry, to, sorry, to show your vocabulary. And again, grammatical range and accuracy. So grammatical range and accuracy is your grammar. Are there any grammatical errors or this is the first criteria in grammar and do you use uh, only simple grammar or you use some um, like complex grammar and do you use them properly? Okay. Task two, there is only one difference as you see in the beginning, task response instead of task achievement as in task one. Yeah. So task two requires candidates to formulate and develop a position in relation to a given prop in the form of a question or statement. So it means ideas, your ideas should be supported by evidence, uh, by evidence and examples may be drawn from the candidate's yeah, own experience. So it means uh, also your response must be at least 250 words in length.